and welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Tim Lampley. Joining me now in the studio is Ron Gregory, president of the New Millennium Group and also brother of comedian and activist Dick Gregory. So, Live and in, in Living Color is the name of this event that's coming up. Who came yeah. up with that? I came up with it. <laughs> I came up with it because we're saying that we're bringing the man home. And the man being Dick Gregory. Dick Gregory. Mm -hmm. And he'll be all the way live and in, in living, living color. And I know he can be. You got that I've right. read his books. And you've been there. You've been on the scene with him, too. <laughs> That's right. Uh, you, and I was asking you about that earlier when I showed you some, some video from uh, the tribute they did with uh, Dick Gregory at the Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts in Washington, right. D.C. Didn't know that we were both at this same event because we we've never met before. The whole family was there and it was a sight to behold. Do you think sometimes Dick doesn't get the kind of recognition that he deserves of all the work that he's done over the years? Perhaps? Yeah, he's, 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 he's a laid back individual and mm -hmm. whatever comes, that's, that's what he takes. He does not go out and just ask people for things. For instance, like I'm saying, out of all these years that he has performed, nobody. It's been over 50 years. 52 years. Yes. That nobody has ever requested that he come back and actually do a show at his high school. Why, why Sumner? Is that, is that, is that Sumner why? High because school, that is his, his that's, high that's school? That's his high school album model. Mm -hmm. He was a student there from 1948 to 1952. Uh, first African American, he was a track star, first African American to win the state mile and state cross country championship. He was elected in 1951, the outstanding citizen of the school, and in his senior year, class of 52, he was elected class president. So, you know, and he went on to SIU to do that, some of that work as well. And he got right? a scholarship to, athletic scholarship to uh, SIU Carbondale. Uh, and he was there for a star athlete there for two and a half to three years before he got uh, drafted in the military. Now, how many were there of the Gregory kids? Uh, six of us, four boys and two girls, and Dick is actually the second runner in the family. We had an older brother who died about five years ago, who's okay. a year older than Dick Press Gregory. He started out as the first distant runner in the family, oh, and really? then Dick picked it up, and you know. And you guys grew it. up right in the city, right? We grew up in the Ville, at forty-five. I mean, eighteen oh three uh, North Taylor, and uh, we lived there. You know, basically all our life. My family, my mom, and my uh, sister Dolores and Pauline, and my other brothers uh, Garland. Matter of fact, the new field at Sumner High School has a track around the new the Tuskegee Airmen football field and hmm. had the track, uh, the running track that goes around the field uh, has been named in honor of the three Gregory brothers that were distant runners. Oh really? And that's not the only thing that's been named in no, honor of Dick, right? Dick has uh, a street was formerly Wagner uh, uh, Avenue mm -hmm. was named in honor of him and uh, it intersects with uh, Martin Luther King which okay. is a big part of his life the, when these two individuals came together. Uh, and so how did this whole culmination of events come together to have Dick actually come back to his high school, as you said, after so many years of never being asked to actually well, perform there? most people know that there's been some problems with keeping Sumner High School open. Hmm. And I think it's my understanding this year it's a possibility it will be a charter school. But funds are needed uh, for teacher training and uh, funds are needed to help uh, the students get scholarships. So uh, I leaned on Dick and said, hey, you know, why don't you come home and do a homecoming? And he said, what do you mean? I've, I've been home. You know, I've talked at Harstow, talked to St. Louis University. I said, that's not home. Home is Sumner High School where you went to school. So we arranged for it and then found out that his 60th class reunion was coming up and it's August the 10th and 11th and I told him okay then let's do the sh show at Sumner High School in the auditorium uh, Sunday so you'll stay over an extra day and he agreed to it but the agreement was only if some of the proceeds, the proceeds would benefit 
the alumni and scholarship fund. And, uh -huh. and we agreed that 20% of the gross sale of tickets would go to benefit the uh, scholarship okay. fund. Okay, they're telling me to wrap for this break. So when we come back, we're going to talk more about that particular event and how people can get in contact with okay. you about it. Yeah. Just stay right there. Right. Uh, we'll be right back with more with uh, Ron Gregory. And in the meantime, remember to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on around St. Louis. You can friend us on Facebook, you can follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also watch us streaming live on stltv.net. We'll be right back with more with Ron Gregory. Stay tuned.